Hello, we are located at the Collect Punk Park between Leonard Street and Center Street and Lafayette Street. This is the place that occupies the 18th century site of the Collect Park. That was the pond, large 60 foot deep pool fed by underground spring. Throughout the 17th and 18th centuries, Collect Pond was a favorite spot for picnics and ice skating. In 1786, John Fitch launched one of the first experimental steamboats on the waters. During this time, the pond was still very clean, clean enough to use for the area's drinking water. But by the late 1700s, it grew too polluted for use due to many tanneries, breweries clustered near it and the use of pot as dumping ground for others. The city began draining the collect starting around 1802 by backfilling it with construction debris and whatever garbage they could find. There was a problem though. People soon realized that all water had nowhere to go as the surrounding low-lying area was already a marshland. Because of health concerns, primarily malaria, the city drafted the plan in 1807 to build a canal to drain all the water from the surrounding area and whatever remained in the pond. The collect pond was finally drained by 1811. The recovered waterlogged land was used to build a massive prison called the Tums in 1838. The canal itself remained until 1821 when it was covered over and used as an underground sewer. Nowadays, the set, the Larrick Park, is inhabited by homeless and numerous pigeons. This is the Canal Street today. It used to be a large Afro-American settlement in the 17th century. Nowadays, it is a Chinatown. Like most other urban Chinatowns, Manhattan's Chinatown is both residential and a commercial area. The population estimates are around 90,000 to 100,000 residents. It is difficult to get an exact count as neighborhood participation in the U.S. Census is thought to be low due to language barriers as well as large-scale illegal immigration. Loud, noisy and dirty, Canal Street represents the real New York not the Giuliani Bloomberg Disney Field version of it. A lot of the traffic on this street consists of trucks from Brooklyn and Long Island destined for New Jersey. Most could travel a more direct route over the Verzano Narrows Bridge into the Staten Island, but they do not. The reason is a one-way toll for westbound traffic across the Verzano. Most simply skirt the fee to use the Manhattan Bridge Canal Street Holland Tunnel for free. The result is heavy pollution and terrible congestion for downtown residents. Canal Street features an interesting mix of business both old and new. You can buy expensive gold and diamond jewelry, automobile stereo components, plastic and art supplies, and other souvenirs including fake handbags and Rolex watches. In 2010, Chinatown and Little Italy were listed as a single historic district of the National Register of Historic Places.